So 2020, wow. Hey guys, so it has been quite a while since I've made a video and I've really been working hard on our house. Um, it's, you just, you're just exhausted at the end of the day um, after working 14 hours on your house and then uh, doing kids and wife and yeah, everything else just comes in the way of doing this, but hopefully I can get back into making vlogs for you guys. Um, that said, about 2020, it's been a roller coaster of a year for me, at least for my business. Um, I don't know if, if you guys know, I use Hasselblad survey equipment and I uh, went through three cameras that died on me this summer. Um, we're actually still not sure what the cause of the issue was, but it was a stressful, stressful season of work for me, for sure. Um, I had a lot of work lined up and had nothing but issues with my equipment. Um, but this fall I got it all done. Finally I got a third loaner camera that was able to get me through my work. Um, other than that, it's been pretty good. Aircraft's been really good. Um, one thing that has happened this year is uh, this spring it started to occur um, not very often where my oil pressure would drop to almost zero but it was around 10 psi really low and it would just stay there and it, it would wander a little bit with rpm it would maybe go up to about 15 uh, psi with throttle um, but it just wouldn't go up so uh, as soon as i took out the oil pressure relief valve out of the oil pump and inspected it i could never find any material in there um, but as soon as i put it back in my oil pressure was fine again so this fall happened again and I noticed that there was actually nicks inside of the um, pressure relief valve. So I bought a new relief valve, I put that in and my pressure has been fine ever since. But I also noticed that there was scratch marks on the inside of the plug where the pressure relief valve sits in, inside the, the actual oil uh, pump housing. So Rotax came back, we sent that info into them and they sent me a new oil pump at no cost to replace. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put that, I have to assemble it first. I'm going to assemble it here at the house and then put it in the plane. All right, well, let's grab a coffee and get to work. So here's the new oil pump. This is where your filter, your oil filter goes on. And this is where the pressure relief valve sits. And inside here I found actually scratch marks on the inside. So we're gonna go ahead and put this together. I'm gonna use the heavy maintenance manual to build it. All right guys, it's the next day now. It's about minus one right now. That's why I'm wearing a toque. I'm supposed to get to plus 14, so pretty good day for doing this job. Um, engine's warm right now. I've got it plugged in, the Tannis preheater. And so I'm gonna drain the oil. I'm gonna throw that new oil pump in there. See if it improves my oil pressure as I climb. If you guys don't know, I've been having issues since this engine was new where I lose oil pressure the higher I climb in my altitude um, and no one can figure out why that is. So maybe the oil pump has something to do with it. I'm kind of skeptical, but we'll see. We'll soon find out. So we're gonna do that. I've got some uh, scat hosing to replace as well. I've got a couple cracks in my uh, heating scat um, air hoses coming from the, uh, the shroud around the muffler. There's a couple cracks in those hoses so I gotta replace those because I'm starting to use my heat in the cabin and I don't want CO2 poisoning so yeah let's do that all right we're gonna have to take the filter off and take this off for the hydraulic um, hydraulic propeller 
and then oil line as well. See a little bit of wear marks in there. I don't know if you can see that. It's definitely got some wear on it. The gears are worn against the back plate. I'm not sure if that's normal or not. I had to run to Napa to get some sealant, Loctite 598, to put the new oil pump on. Um, originally there was no sealant on it, I guess, because when they assemble the engine, there's no oil on it. Um, but when there's oil, you need to put the sealant on. Uh, so we're going to do that. So that worked, now we're just going to check the um, aircraft for any leaks. There's definitely nothing major underneath the belly, but we'll take the cowling off, inspect it, and then go for a flight. Definitely the best oil pressure I've ever seen in this plane. Um, at 9,000 feet, I had 46 psi. Um, typically, it's like about 35 at that point. So that's pretty good. So definitely, there's something to the oil pump uh, losing your oil pressure if you got scoring in it, as you saw. 
Um, bonus. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and catch you next time.